I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
And uh, you people coming out tonight is pretty much proof of that. We have always uh, held a lot of first in this community. Uh, you know, some of the things I just think all of the fans is that the uh, alcohol aluminum, uh, we first started here with the first bog night mine and uh, was discovered and worked here right here in Heritage. And uh, the first school, a uh, public uh, school, uh, one of only six, I think, were erected at the time. We're going to make the part that was in that school. Uh, we have the first World War II monument that was erected for World War II casualties right across the way over here. And many more that we could list. And uh, we're going to have, uh, we're also going to be the first to participate in the uh, clean community thing, uh, I believe that's right in America. Uh, we have been put first on that, so that's just another first for us here more recent. So, uh, what we're about here tonight, I have to put the glass on to see what we're about here tonight. <laughs>
the people sitting in this audience tonight. And so it was uh, decided that uh, just by being here tonight, you can become a charter member. And we hope everyone here will be. If we have the program tonight, we will have uh, a short business session to elect officers and, uh, and board members for a board of trustees. Uh, generally, nonprofit organizations use boards of trustees rather than boards of directors. Because in a red corporation, you, you know, directors represent the stockholders, and each stockholder has however many votes to <coughs> have to share. It was a little bit different with a nonprofit. Nobody, you don't have any stockholders. It, it, it stays in the organization. And we can make profit, but nobody gets that profit. It stays in the organization, and, and we can do what we want to do with it. We can give it to somebody, we can use it for our expense or whatever. So that's what the organization is. And uh, as I say, we've had a lot of people that have worked over the years. I was going through it a while ago, and uh, you know, I got up to the office club, but I didn't mention, and these people started a little before the office club. I think they only called themselves the, the seniors. There were seniors that met here and got this scout cabin furnished and everything, and were responsible for putting a lot of the memorabilia up in there. Uh, they got uh, things donated, this, that, and other. To start with, that building didn't even have any lights. And uh, we got lights put in and various things there. Just people of this community. And they sort of ran the thing back then. They had keys to it and all, and they would look after it. Help the county, you know, by looking at it. And, uh, you know, we had some, uh, quite a few people in, in there. Uh, some of them have gone on, some of them here tonight. And then uh, there were people like Roy Powell and Jeanette Milner Treadway that accumulated a lot of historical uh, data and, and pictures and all. And so we have these things over in the scout camp. I'm, nah, I'm scout camp. Over here in the old mill office. And it's open right now. And if you haven't been over there and seen that, it's on display. Well did play. There's probably over a thousand pictures on the wall. And quite a bit of information. And it's just about as fine a thing as you're going to see in a community. And uh, so the building opened over there tonight. And uh, you can you can go over that way. I've had one fellow come me at the park over there because he couldn't find a place out here. He walked over here. So uh, with that said, and I'm, I'm going to try to wind up my talking here pretty quick, but there were just a lot of things I think that I, I want to mention to you. And uh, before we have the business session, uh, we're going to uh, have our program. And uh, I'm just looking at my, my minutes here. Uh, there's one thing I want to do right now to see how we're going to come out here. I've got a, uh, one thing, I guess a lot of you heard about the terrible accident that Buck Jones did. And uh, I think most of you have signed this card that we won't get to. And if there's anyone in the house that hasn't signed this, I'm going to pass around if there is. Okay. Uh, or if I get you there, just pass this around. Get your signatures. And we're going to get that to Bunky. Bunky is one of the incorporated. And he's been working real hard with us. And, uh, and he's... Uh, I understand that he's, he's moving along real well. He's having uh, these skin drafts done fairly often, I think. And uh, he can't have any business right now because when you don't have any skin covering you up, 
you just can't take any chances on any, any kind of contaminants or anything. So they pretty much got it quarantined, I think. But hopefully he'll get through that and we can uh, call on him and well, he'll be back with us in this meeting here, or these meetings that we'll be having. Uh, one of the things that I want to announce right now is that uh, the Cub Scout Pack is leaning over here uh, in the, uh, the old part of the compact here. We're in the uh, addition, they're in the original. And uh, I understand that they built that Cub Scout troop up, so they got about 40 boys over there, and that's really good. And it's Coast Scout uh, Pack 30. And the scout master wanted to come in here for a minute or so if he could, and he could leave the boys, and I just invited them all to come in. So they'll probably be in here around 7 o'clock, if I understand. And Mary, they may be in your time or whatever, and they're just going to come in and probably line against the wall, and we're going to recognize them. And uh, they're young boys and all, they're not going to want to stay in here and listen to all our business and this, that, and other. But uh, about 70 years from now, they can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they're just coming in time there, so we'll just break and recognize them when they come in. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to request a motion out of the the ones, the incorporators, we talked about this that, uh, you know, we turn it over, everybody here could have the opportunity to become a charter member. And uh, we're incorporated, we're not members. Well, I guess you could say we are members, but we've been running the show up. Now, we have a couple of things we have to do. Uh, being at the office club and shut down here and all, we had to take care of Memorial Day service this time. And we also had to get those monuments moved. I was talking about Navy doing that. And that's basically all we, we've done because we wanted to put it before the people, let the people run this thing, and uh, however you see people. So to be democratic about it, we only talked about this uh, major membership thing and all. And I think a motion would be in order from, uh, from the incorporated board that. Uh, if that would take place, that everyone at this meeting tonight can become a charter member of this association. And that's the only business come for the old board that I would like to take us now. And I would entertain a motion to that effect. Anyone want to make? I'll make that slight motion as you stated. Okay, all go ahead and motion. On. I'll second. And pass as seconded. Uh, any discussion on this motion? The motion is that uh, everyone here tonight will have the opportunity to become a charter member of this organization. Any discussion or question? I'm gonna call a question. All those, uh, this is the old board members, uh, uh, indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the nays. I hear no nays by Mr. Madison. So, uh, by that little act, everyone in here is a member now. <laughs> when the bed thing starts up, you'll have your vote. <laughs> uh, and as I said, we're going to have a short business session after the program. And uh, that means that uh, everybody's a member. <laughs> it's, it's going to be an electing officer, so you're going to elect the officers and your board members. And that's that's all we got for you. Get that, uh, so it shouldn't take, shouldn't take long to do that. Uh, another thing, is there anyone in the house that hasn't got on the registration list that we call? We want everybody's, we want all our members' names on here. So, uh, Pat and them, they were checking some of your names off on the list they had, and then some new names were put on one of these. If, if anybody hadn't signed one of these, I'm going to pass this around. If I see any hands, if anybody, Pat, y'all did a good job. You didn't let anybody get through the door there. It's true. It's true. 
There's three came in since we came in. So we've got them, though. I think got them. She's got them. Got it. Okay. There's <laughs> organization working, too. <laughs> okay. We're lucky to have our first program. Oh, let me mention this. <laughs>
he's a Lindale guy. And here's our other import from East Rome, Mr. Charles Parkinson. So, so we've got some other folks among us that are interested in what y'all are doing out here. And we really just want to share the great, rich heritage of this community with, with the rest of Rome and Floyd County. I've learned so much just talking with Mr. Dickey and with Jennifer about what's out here. I've always felt it was a special place because my dad went to model, but I didn't know all this stuff about the bauxite mine and about this interesting picture and, and how much there is to, to be proud of out here. And so we really want to let the rest of the Floyd County know in, in our, our greater Rome area. So if y'all don't mind, a lot of these got mailed out and put around the community over the weekend. And I just kind of took some liberties and put pictures of some local celebrities in here. Y'all might recognize some folks. Yes. Does everybody have a brochure? We can, we've got a brochure if you need them. And, and take some. You know, if you, you know somebody that's in here that wants it. But uh, we're going to do three days. We, we've got five days listed in here. And here's here we are on Monday. Did y'all, did anybody go to the Rush Chapel chicken barbecue? Yeah. Was it wonderful? Oh, no, it's tremendous. I hear it's really, really, I'm sorry. We need it. I miss it. Did you sell out? Was it? That's the best chicken you can get anywhere. <laughs> well, I heard that. There. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. We, yeah, we have other commitments sometimes. Um, let's look at Thursday, September 30th. Um, that will be our first sort of official kickoff. And, and in the county, the city and county are a little different. The city, you have a lot of, you know, street traffic. You can just be on Avenue May or Maple Street or somewhere inside the city, and you're going to run into people that are just ready to talk with you. But when, when you're out here, it's a little bit more spread out, and folks may be at work, and they're just not going to be available for for all that's going on with um, an event like this. So we, we've added the Saturday event so that everybody can be involved. But we will be here on Thursday working with Parks and Rec and uh, their exercise sitter size class. I've never done sitter size, so we're going to try that out. But that will also be Urban Agriculture Day. So those of you that might be home, we're going to come out. And Mr. Dickey, of course, is the expert on trees. What's the name of this tree? The Hello. Hello. So we've got um, Keith Meichler and our tree board members. They're going to come out. And if you want to do soil sampling, if you've been trying to grow tomatoes on the south side of your lawn and it's not working out, you, we want to know what the what's happening with that soil, we can do that and send it off to the University of Georgia and have it analyzed. And that's part of this program. So if you're interested in that or you know a neighbor that's interested in that, let us know and we'll come to your house that day. And um, there's gospel singing, and then we're going to do a yard of the day presentation. And I used to work with uh, Miss Terry over here, and she, she helped me out. You'll get one of these, whoever gets yard of the day will get to have a yard of the day sign in their yard, and everybody can be very jealous. And they will also get a big prize basket that gets, that's a $25 prize from either Dollar General, um, Gal Jones Pharmacy, or the Shannon Grocery. So those were the three kind of participating uh, people that donated uh, $25 gifts for and then there's other neat, fun stuff that's inside the yard of the day gift basket. So that kind of inspires people to perk up a little bit. Um, on Friday, October 1st, we will be back here, and we're having Library Appreciation Day. Who, does everybody have a library card? There's so much happening in our library, and so we want to just share that with your community. There's, if y'all are babysitting grandchildren, there's a lot of stuff for story time with the kids. You may want that schedule with the holidays coming up and those strange fall breaks that kind of happen now with the school calendar changing around. And I'm going to let Mr. Blake Williams talk to you a little bit more about um, this filming of Gov 101. But um, Barbara Earl, hello, helped um, develop a thing called Know Your Neighbor. And so we're going to take this around and just inside the village and see if it, because I know there's a kind of high rental rate out here and we want these people to feel a part of this community too. So. We'll kind of get them to answer questions, and you get a prize if you can answer, know your neighbor. And there, there, there's some neat questions like, do you know somebody that worked at the mill, somebody that's lived on the street the longest? What else were some most number of grandchildren? Graduated from mom. Graduated from mom. She had some good questions, so we'll, we'll use those, and that'll be really fun. And then we'll do another Yard of the Day presentation. But our big day is going to be on Saturday, and the big hit is free dump day. 
okay? And so <laughs> we're gonna have, the public works department will be here with trailers. So if you maybe need to get rid of the sofa or there's something out there, it's no hazardous waste. There's no tires, no TV, electronic, that kind of stuff because we offer that at the recycling center, you know, six times a year. Yes, sir? Is that going to include the grabber truck at, on Memorial Circle? Tree well, lambs? Michael Skeen will be here to, to completely discuss this um, leaf debris scheduling your, your pickup for um, leaves and, and that kind of thing. We can, we can address that too because I know that's a real issue right now in the whole county because it's, it's tough and it's about to be leaf season and leaves are different from sticks. So that we can discuss that. But yeah, they, this, this is just dumping things that maybe have been inside of your yard for a while. If you've got rental property, you need, need to just get rid of that old shacky thing that's out in the back. Like this, you, this is the time to do it. Or just some old toys, plastic things. Hello, are you ready? I think they're right there. I'm gonna just get them down the halls. Okay, okay. I, I, I you can do that, that's fine. Right. So free dump day, that's very exciting. Tell anybody that needs to know about free dump day. And then um, yeah, the, the, the joke in, in Lindale when we did it last year was there wasn't a sofa left on a porch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a good time to kind of clean up before the, the holidays. So we, they really appreciated that. And, and a really fun highlight is going to be that the county commissioners are going to be here cooking hot dogs and serving up some baked beans and cobbler and slaw to the residents and anybody that's participating in events on Saturday. So tell everybody, I'm now ordering 350 hot dogs, but let me know if we need to do some more. Okay, and I'll stop for a minute. Y'all come up here and do your... Okay, one of you fellas has got to serve both of them here. We're just delighted to have this big bunch of scouts coming in here. I believe it's about the biggest scout group we've ever had out here. Is that right? It is for the last few years, Go ahead and tell them, uh, Mike, here what. Uh, My what name is Mike Scott Gallows. I'm the Cub Master of Pack 30 of Shannon. And this is Pack 30. Hi!
Yeah. And so, Scout, you still alive up there? We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
seven-year-old, but thanks for having us here tonight. And uh, I'd like to step back and go back to, to, to the reason.